Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our Muffin Builder and create nice websites. Uh, so I'm going to add new page. Uh, it could be page, for example. And in page option section, as you can see, we've got uh, what we need. So I'm going to create first section. I've got here in not but uh, some text so I can build my website my quick much quicker and the first item is going to be article box I need to find the image as well this one should be okay I'm going to Add some content, link, title, and that's it. I need the second uh, same item, so I would like to clone it and just edit. So we need another picture. This one, title. Content could be the same. Well, link title. OK, so that's fine. What's next? The next one is info box item. Um, title and I'm going to use HTML tags for my content because it's allowed here. Uh, and the last item is call to action. Choose the image as well. This one, title, content, the same as everywhere, and link title, or as well. So we've got the first section done. And that's why I'm going to publish the site and I would like to show you what we already did. Okay, so this is what we did so far. Uh, the first article box, the second intro box and call to action. Okay, I can go back to create another sections. Second one, but here I'm going to edit some options for section. Uh, I'm going to choose the background image. This one should be fine. Also, I need fixed cover position for this background image. Uh, what I need as well is padding. And section has been already edited, so I can start for that uh, the first one is going to be column but this column is going to be on full width so if I want the full ones I'm going to increase with this plus here you can also decrease what I need here is some title and some content I choose that HTML tags with some text, but also you can use just plain text or source codes. Okay, so this one is okay. And what else I need is four icon boxes. So I'm going to create the first one. Title. Content. Icon. The icon can be used at uh, any from font or some icons list, uh, which is also available on our demo. So you can easily and quick uh, choose an icon you like. Okay, the icon background is okay and the icon color is okay as well. I need four of them, so I'm going to clone option and 
I'm going to change just title and icon and same thing I'm going to do with the last two icon boxes for this section of course this one and the last one Okay, so second section is already done, so I'm going to update the page and also I would like to show you what we already did. And as you can see, this is the first section and this is our new second section where we've got title with some text and four icon boxes. I think it looks nice. Okay, let's go back to the Muffin Builder and create some other sections. I'm going to add a section, and here I'm going to just 40 pixels padding. And what we need here is four items. The first one is a column. Some title here and some content based on HTML tags with the last time. The second section, uh, sorry, the second item is testimonials. This one, and here, as you can see, we've got some options like title, category, order by, date, manual title. We can order also and we can choose the smiles page okay but i don't need anything else so this is fine for me uh, the next one is latest posts item we've got some options here as well but i'm not going to change anything because it's okay as well for me. and last one here is call to action I sorry contact booth item uh, we need some title the image this one should be fine I need also address phone number email address and website address. Okay, so the third section is done. So I'm going to update and we'll see what has been changed on page. As you can see, we've got the third section with some column and content inside, testimonial slider, latest posts, and get in touch. So let's go back to the Muffin Builder and create the last section. And for this section, I'm going to make some edits. Uh, it's going to be, oh, I see. It's going to be background image this one also I would like to have fixed cover position what else I need is 40 pixels padding and dark class uh, this is the, some CSS that we prepared for uh, special for this section okay so I already put some and things for the section and now what I need is some items inside uh, and the first one is column also on full have some title and some content 
what else I need here is portfolio. Portfolio will be also on full width. Um, and what I need, I don't need the title. I need just button title. Button portfolio. I would like to show six portfolio items. Got it all. Order by and order. Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, and I'm going to show you the last section. Okay, so the page is already loaded and that's our last section with the title with some portfolio items which can be scrolled and we have the link to the portfolio page and as you can see within just a few minutes we did a really nice page with different sections uh, where we put some fixed cover backgrounds uh, some different items like, like icon boxes, columns, HTML slider and the other. I think it is going to be enough clear and I hope it will be easy for you. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you will love to use our Mustang Builder.